Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Tara with day six. Day six of the 14 day challenge and today's video is pretty cool. Tomorrow's an equinox and a full moon. So I'm kind of like, what, what? I'm thinking about all sorts of different things that we could do to help ourselves kind of give ourselves our own mental and spiritual spring cleaning. We've been doing lots of laundry around here and doing all sorts of weird little things, getting ourselves ready for a big spring clean of the house. But I said, well, what about us? What about just ourselves? Now, spring cleaning your house is part of that. Just so you know, if you thought you were going to get away with not doing any of that, that is an important part of it. But today, I'm going to talk about seven different ways that you can spring clean your life and just give you a little juice. You know, we, we've been through a winter, whether you live in the south or whether you live in the north. Winter is winter, you know, you get a little bit less vitamin D, you get a little bit less all that. And hello, Kimberly, thank you for joining. And it's time for us to kind of, you know, get out there in the world and do a couple of things. So I came up with a list of seven different things. I went searching on the internet to see if other people had ideas about it. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, some of the stuff that I was thinking, other people are thinking. So I figured I'd share them with you because, you know, tomorrow's the equinox. Tomorrow's the first day of spring. Woot woot, super excited. So, let's go ahead and get started. Let's roll right into this. And thank you so much for joining. And let me know where it is you're watching from. I'm always really interested in that. I wish I had some water. I do. I feel like I need to cough and I need water. Ah, that tastes good. So, definitely shout out, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and rock and roll. Beautiful. Okay, so spring cleaning your life. Number one. Number one. Tap into your creativity. Now, I got this idea because my daughter had posted a meme today, and it was awesome. It was like, for those of you out there that need to hear this, start painting again, start writing again, start playing your music again, start doing that. So I'm like, that's that's brilliant, especially for this time of year. And so Tapping into your creativity could be a couple of things. It could be revamping or revitalizing something that you've done in the past that you enjoyed that was kind of artistic. Um, or maybe it's about sitting down and planning out your garden, getting the seeds started, and thinking about what your garden is going to be like this year. I know up here in Vermont, it's pretty important around here. We, you know, we plant our gardens, we grow stuff in the in the summer, you know what I'm saying? And that's a pretty big deal. So... Also, I used to love to paint, so, you know, if I've decided to pick up some more painting and get back into it, that's a really good idea. And writing, really good idea. So, number one thing is tap into your creativity, something that you've already done, something that you used to enjoy. Kind of bring back some of that youthful vigor to your life. Um, number two, this is huge, and this is also inspired from somebody close to me, my best friend Kimberly started taking a mindfulness class at school and um, it's just unbelievable just it's not unbelievable it's really awesome to see how this class has really helped her just kind of grow into her own self because we knew that she was coming into a different stage of her life and that she was wanting to to explore a little bit more and this mindfulness class kind of like gave her the, the bolt so the big thing about that class that has to happen every single day is they meditate so I highly recommend that maybe you start yourself a spring meditation practice okay you don't have to be crazy it could be five minutes it could be using YouTube videos or something like that to help you I know Deepak Chopra runs these little challenges all the time you could do those for free you could um, maybe go down to your local bookstore and find meditation that you like and utilize um, some audios or even some reading meditations that's a big deal. You could also do moving meditation to start a small yoga practice. You don't have to be able to, hey, Merja, what's going on? You don't have to be able to sit on, on rice, okay? Kneel on rice for hours on end, you know, while chanting something. That's not necessarily what you need. I, I don't know. Maybe you do. I'm only suggesting that you take five, ten minutes a day and you become more mindful and you start a meditation practice. That was step number two. Step number three, really good time of the year that we're 
the first quarter is over, guys, and the second quarter is starting. This is financial. Revisit your budget. Take a look at how your budget's gone. You might even be filing your taxes now. You might have already done it. I don't know. But you might be right in that space where you got to look at it. Take a look at how you've been spending money and redefine your budget. It might not be much different than it is right now. Or you might be like, whoa, what the heck? Wow, I just went crazy with that this this you know this first quarter this year and blah blah blah. Maybe it's time to just take another look at that. Take a look at it and revisit it and replan it and get it all straightened out. Okay. Number four, throw stuff out. And I'm not talking about just doing a declutter. That you should do too. But I'm talking about toxic relationships. I'm talking about uh, just. Maybe your own personal habits that aren't suiting you anymore. Maybe you've noticed. There's another thing that I'm, I'm reminded to say right now. Um, if you find yourself saying, I'm sorry a lot, turn that around into thank you. Okay? Maybe making that one little shift, throwing out the I'm sorry and adding a gratitude instead is the kind of thing that you need to kind of mix up. So throwing stuff out like that. Also, that still does include the regular old-fashioned spring cleaning declutter. You might want to go through your 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 uh, your clothes, your wardrobe, and find some stuff that maybe you, even if it still fits you, you just haven't worn it forever and you don't want it. Donate it. You know, do little things, little things like that. All of that throwing stuff out is going to be helpful to you. If you have somebody that you are dealing with and you feel like you're dealing with them all the time and it's driving you crazy and every time that you're around them you feel anxious or what stop and just cut it out and say you know this isn't this is not for me okay you can still love people and not have them in your face all the time okay so being aware of your ability to get rid of the things you don't need it's a really good thing number five <laughs> social media cleanup that kind of ties into number four as well um and I do this consistently all the time if I am looking at Facebook and scrolling and I see things that are just giving me like oh god ooh, 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 I hit the little drop down menu and I put hide post what that does is teaches Facebook's algorithm what you don't want to see you don't have to report somebody you don't have to defriend them you don't have to do any of that just be conscious of like what makes you feel good and if Something that people are posting or not making you feel good, that doesn't mean you got to let go of them. It means you might need to let go of that post. You need to kind of like just edit your own input from social media. Um, are there social medias that you don't really use? Recently, I said bye bye Google Plus, and like the day after, what's up going on, Dave in Ireland? Happy St. Patty's Day, belated. Um, I, I was on G Plus. I decided, you know what? I'm out. I'm not doing this anymore. And sure enough, like a week later, it was like amazing. They're getting rid of it. I'm like, why do I have these notifications from G Plus? Who goes there anymore? I don't want to go there anymore. So you know what I'm saying? If you if you're not on Instagram, why do you have it on your phone? Why are you scrolling through it? Just stop it. Start if you're on your social media, do what it is you're there to do and enjoy yourself and eliminate things that you don't want to see. Don't even play anymore, okay? Uh, number six. Simplify the everyday stuff. Simplify the everyday stuff. Simplify how, I, I guess it is, but I think they're phasing it out. And I had a stupid account there and my emails were getting crazy. It was crazy. Um, <laughs> simplify the everyday stuff. So maybe you like to make things complicated. Maybe when you get up for work in the morning and whatever it is that you do to get ready to go out there in the world or uh, golly there's all sorts of ways all sorts of things that we overcomplicate on our own start looking at ways that you can make it easier you know go out there and get the four-hour work week because that he's all about talking about simplifying stuff um, the things that you do every day just simplify find a way to make it simpler and and just do that <laughs> and last but not least number seven and this is for you go-getters out there because I know you're out there. Write out your second quarter goals. Sit down and write out your second quarter goals. What do you want to accomplish between tomorrow 
and the end of spring in your life, your business, your relationships, everything. Write it down that you would like to accomplish and work towards that. Make a commitment to yourself. You know, you, you may have fallen off the wagon. Most people do. The statistics are crazy from resolutions to this time of the year, you know. It, just rewrite, you know, reaffirm what it is that you want and start moving forward and towards it, okay? Now, I hope you guys got a lot out of that. I'm going to be quick, quick recap. Number one, get creative, tap into it. Number two, start some sort of mindfulness practice. Meditation is a really great suggestion. You don't have to be a guru. Just take some time for yourself every single day. Number three, take a look at your budget, budget and revisit it and refine the budget. Number four, throw stuff out. Throw the stuff out in your budget you no longer need. Throw out toxic relationships. Uh, go through your house. Do a declutter in your house. Clean out your... Uh, if you're a lady, you might want to go through your makeup and get rid of old stuff because that stuff does go bad. Um, just, just declutter. Throw it out. Uh, number five, social media cleanup. You're, if you're spending any time on social media, make sure it's good for your brain. And if you're connected to social media stuff that you don't use, like, I don't have a Snapchat, I'm not on it, why would I go there? To get a filter? Like, eh, you, I don't need that. You know, if I decide I want to go on Snapchat at another time, then I go on Snapchat. I have eliminated all unnecessary apps in social media. I like Facebook, I like Instagram, and I like YouTube. That's it. Um, and then, number six, simplify the everyday stuff. Find ways to do it easier. Find ways to find ways to do your laundry quicker. Find ways to shop for the things you need for the house quicker. Find ways that are, are going to make your life more streamlined, so you have more time. Because soon you'll be outside more often. You'll be able to walk around and stuff. And if you're still complicated like you were all winter long, it's going to take some time out of your day. And final tip is number seven: write out your second quarter goals. Run with that stuff right there. Okay? Run with it. Do it. Just do it. Okay. I'm feeling kind of snazzy. I've got some work to do, so I'm going to go. However, if you like those tips, I've got three more that I would love to share with you. If you would like them, reach out to me. Number two is going to blow your mind. Reach out to me. That means private message me. Drop me a comment. Ain't going to get it. Send me a message, and I will send you those three tips. And I hope you have a wonderful spring. I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.